Hi, and welcome back to Animals, Authors, and Art, one of 100 Miles Digital Programs. My name is Stephanie, and today's book I'm really excited about is I'm the Biggest Thing in the Ocean by Kevin Shirley. I'm the biggest thing in the ocean. I'm a giant squid, and I am big. I am bigger than the shrimp. I am bigger than these clams. I am bigger than this crab. I am bigger than that jellyfish. I am bigger than these turtles. I am even bigger than this octopus. I am bigger than that shark. Shh. I am bigger than this fish. That fish, this fish, and that fish. I am the biggest thing in the ocean. Uh-oh. I'm the biggest thing in this whale. The end. Well, please let me know which your favorite part of this book was. And now it's time for our craft. craft. And on our book today, our main character was a squid. And squid are part of the group called cephalopods. So we are actually going to make a cephalopod craft today. So they are going to make sock octopuses with things hopefully we can find around our houses. So what we're gonna need for this is a sock. And if your house is like ours, there's always a whole pile of mismatched socks or socks that lost its pair. So those make perfect for this. Um, you're gonna need some sort of filler. So if you have batting, you can use that or rice. I'm using dried peas. So anything to fill in the head. You're gonna need either a rubber band or a hair tie, some sort of glue a scissor, and then any sort of ribbon you find around your house. And there's one thing missing. Oh, here they are. And something to make the eyes. So if you have googly eyes, that's great. But again, most people have some buttons around their house, so you'll need a pair of buttons. Or if you don't have that, you can just use a magic marker. So first things first, we're gonna take our sock and we're going to fill it with our our stuffing or our beans. I'm using these red peas since they were in my house. Um, I'm using a spoon and I turned it inside out to make it a little easier for myself. So we're just gonna fill it up so we think we have enough. Oh that doesn't look like enough. Try to keep them all on there. Okay, so once we have enough that makes a nice little round head, then you're gonna take your hair tie or your rubber band and you're just gonna wrap it up tight so none of that falls out. Like so. So, one thing about octopuses is that their name comes from the word eight and it's because they have eight arms. So we are going to try to cut the part of the sock into eight equal parts. So how I did this, because it took me a moment, was at first I just cut it in half and then I cut them in half again, keeping it together or just start making my things. 
and so you'll have that and then the last things you're going to want to cut these too so this is a little this is the more difficult part of it just trying to keep them straight and you want to cut them as high as you can up to that rubber band or up to the heel of the sock because that's normally where i stop and then that one on the end we're just going to do it in half take it out and cut this one in half okay so once you have them all cut out you should have eight long tentacles these are pretty colorful socks but if you have um, a more plain sock you can always take a marker and make little suctions on it or decorate it however you want so we should have all of our legs so now let's move on to the head so obviously that rubber band's not very cute so um, you can that's why we have ribbon so you can take some ribbon um, I just obviously use some from an old Christmas present that I have found Tie it however you want, tie it in a bow. This one already has some curls. Give it a little thing on it. Um, and then we need some eyes. So again, if you have googly eyes, you can do that. I'm using just regular um, standard glue, but if you are, um, if you have some parents or someone to help you, you can use hot glue, make them stick a little more. Or um, since they're buttons, if you know how to, you could sew them on, make them stick. So you're just gonna wanna put them wherever you want. And again, if you wanna make a little face on here, just grab a magic marker, give them a little smile if you want. And there you have it, your very own sock octopus. So enjoy, go out and make your own and have a good day. Well, I hope you enjoyed this book as much as I did. Well, don't forget to see all our other videos at 100 miles backslash digital education. And we'll see you at our next one. Have a great day.